Oops. Press the wrong button on the phone. It's all right. Okay. So hopefully you can see me. I'm not too blurry. I forgot to clean my screen before I started. So you don't want me to rub stuff over that at the moment. So welcome. Welcome to Stampin' Out Time Out with Leonie. I am Leonie Schroeder. I am a Stampin' Up demonstrator located in Australia. And I do these weekly um, timeouts chat crafting time each Wednesday afternoon so in Sydney so in Sydney time so I've got a couple of things to show you this morning I've actually half made the project and I'm going to give you a couple of options with that and then we will make the card and I've just realized I haven't cut the card base so that's okay we will do that when we get to it so I'm just going to refresh my page here so that I can see your comments when I flip the camera around. So if you are here, please say hello. Okay, I'm gonna mute that. Make me look big and scary. All right, and then I might actually, now what you can do as well, I'm about to do it, so you can do it too, is just to click on the share button and share that to your um, Facebook group. Max! Granny Max is here. Maxine, thank you for joining us. Oh my gosh. Max and I have been friends for a number of years. Uh, she actually works at the Stampin' Up! Home Office in Utah. So um, yes, it's she's been such a blessing, such a blessing. We go back a very long way. So thank you, Max, for joining me. Welcome to everybody else. Kathy, Roz, Priscilla, Margaret, thank you for joining me. So, as I was saying, just click on the little share button and you can share that to your profile. It's a bit exciting. I've got Max here. Superstar. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to, to do share to my timeline. Join me as I make a card. Join me for a little crafting session. And ideas for Valentine's Day. Now speaking of Valentine's Day, it's only Friday. It's just two sleeps away. Okay, let me just finish this and then I can start talking. Okay, so I'm just going to post that now. Okay, so Valentine's Day is two sleeps away. We've got tonight and tomorrow night and then it's Valentine's Day. If you don't celebrate Valentine's Day, that's fine. You can adjust my project to sending someone a little bit of love. Um, and we all need to have a little bit of love sent to us now and then. Um, but if you do do Valentine's Day, this is a nice little project. You can convert it for male or female. I've actually sort of designed this to give to my husband, even though it's purple. Purple's a guy's colour, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's also a girl's colour because it's my favourite colour. Um, and you can adjust it. You can adjust it for birthdays, whatever it is you want to do. It's using the pleased as punch papers that you can now get as part of the um, coordination product release. And we've got a whole heap of um, different products and stuff like that. We've got some different dies for different products that are in the mini catalog. And I think one of the products is actually in the annual catalog as well. So there is that as well. Um, what else was I going to say? I can't remember. I've lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, so it's Valentine's Day on Friday. So if your partner, your spouse, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, doesn't know what to get you for Valentine's Day, they know you like crafting. Well, you must because you're here watching me. Um, they could actually get you the awesome stamp and starter kit. All right, at the moment, because it's celebration, it's the best deal ever. Um, I put a little spill up earlier for it, so um, if you want to check that out, you can. What happens is you write out a list, or you could go online and join yourself, right, and just grab his card, grab their card, I should say, to pay for it all, and it's done. And he doesn't have to go to the shops, doesn't have to get attacked by all the shop assistants and stuff like that. 
it'll all be done for him so um for them I should say them so yeah so you'll get two hundred and thirty five dollars worth of products all right for just one hundred and sixty nine dollars but that's not all no it's not okay you will get a, the sampler pack now I had that somewhere where did I put it I don't know where I put it anyway it's a little six by six paper pack of a, a few selection of the new papers that are in the mini catalog so you get 48 sheets six by six size 15.2 by 15.2 um, and that's how that's got some designs from the poppy paper the tropical chic paper the golfing paper and something oh the best dress the best dress paper which is the nice paper that I've been using lately so you get a selection of those plus as Natalie calls it the cutest cutter ever so this little guy here you get that so that's that's really handy I'm going to be using that today um, plus you can choose any stamp set in the catalog it just you just can't choose a hostess set or a celebration set so any set in the mini catalog any stamp set in the annual catalogue you can choose as an extra bonus one as well plus you'll also get all the business like you know catalogues and stuff like that but you know if you and then you can just hand them out to your friends and family and just say hey help me out with some sales sort of thing so but what you will also get with that is you also get free shipping you will also get the opportunity then to purchase your products at a discount of a minimum of 20 20 percent all right once you hit the the next step it goes up to 25 percent so you can actually start getting either turning that commission or that discount into extra products or just saving the money yourself so it's up to you which way you want to do that there's also other bonuses with um hosting a party during celebration and also just placing an order so when you place an order here in australia for every 90 dollars that you spend you can then pick a celebration item for free all right if you spent we've got two levels of celebration there's level one which is the ninety dollars and there's level two which is a hundred and eighty dollar spend so there is that and there's, there's got some new stuff coming out on I think it's Sunday Saturday or Sunday there's a new um, release coming out and there's some really really cool stuff in that now I think I put did I? I think I might have. Oh, it's on my chair. I could reach over and get it and show it to you. Just a second. I think it's on my chair. I put one of them away. I did put one of them away. Okay, but I have to show you this one. It's cool and it's a reversible stamp set too. Check it out. Look at those coffee cups. Aren't they cool? So that's one of the ones that's coming next week in this in the um, the new release. So that's that one. All right. What else do I have to tell you? I can't remember. There's this, the coordination happening at the moment. I mentioned that quickly before. So there's the um, please just punch papers, which I will show you when I turn the camera around because it's much better to see that the right way around than back the front. There are dies for the. Um, someone special stamp set there are dies for the positive thoughts stamp set there are dies for the ladybug stamp set which you can earn when you host a party um, and there's something else there's dies for I should oh, they're over there as well there's something else I'm sure I will think of it as the time goes on so there's lots of things that you can um, Gets the get with the um do 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 the product coordination release okay I'm not going to talk about that anymore because I keep twisting my words and getting lost so what I think I will do now is um flip the camera around and then we can start on, I'll show you the projects that we made this morning in class using the lovely lily pad dies and um, stamps and also then we'll move on to making today's project I don't want to hold you up for too long so anyway just bear with me while I flip the camera around and um, we'll get on to um, making some projects won't be a second let's move that forward 
turning that around and I'll just add one more light on here and put the flash on there so hopefully that lights up oh look I really should clean the roof shouldn't I Lee will be having a go at that with that all right so what I made yesterday is this little box sort of thing it's not really a box but it's not a card either I suppose it could be like a 3d triangle card if you really wanted to all right so it's just held together you've got two um, magnets there and it's got a bag of cookies inside right they are my uh, well hubby hasn't had these cookies before but they're ones that my daughter said oh mum these are really cool and they're on special at Coles yesterday so I've got the bag here the bag wouldn't fit inside there it was just too big and chunky so I've just taken them out and put them in one of our little little bags this comes in the um I'm not sure it's in the poppy sweet it's in one of our sweets this one this the little bag here so you get a whole packet of those so these are the biscuits that I've used they're Byron Bay cookies and they're dotty cookies and they've just got like a um uh, it's got milk chocolate chunks plus with a colorful chocolate drop so like m and smarties that sort of thing on top so that's that one and i did have to try one to make sure they were edible <laughs> okay so that's all i've done with that one now what i was thinking too if you wanted to you could change this i've just got like just for you on the front these hearts are from the papers that we're going to be using today and i will pull the papers out in a minute so you can see what you get in that pack so there's lots of different ones in there all right this is from the meant to be bundle okay so you've got this stamp set here so i've just used the just for you and these are the frames frameless that i've used i just used this guy here all right so what this one actually does it cuts it out in two pieces all right so you've got i've cut it out in two different colors so i've used one lot on here and then i'll use the reverse on the card for today okay so you've got the inside heart plus you've got the stitched scalloped frame on there as well so that's what that cuts out on there now what you could also do if you know people don't want cookies I'll take the cookies out because i haven't stuck them in all right and you can pop in a little packet of the the gullion shells now this is my magnets aren't quite oh stop i struggled for like 10 minutes to try and get those magnets to hold <laughs> and now they are holding of course they are so the little packet of gullion chocolates you could put in there as well for somebody who likes chocolate now if there's if they don't like chocolates look what i found i found this huge pack of tic tacs so they would fit in there as well and you can pop that like that i think that container is going to be really good for um keeping little bits and pieces in after we've had the tic tacs all right and then i found this soap at coles yesterday now it's a, a decent size does it have the weight of 200 gram pack of it's a 200 it's like a it's a decent size oh look it's got a pretty pattern on the side as well how cute's that all right so anyway four dollars for the bar of soap it's manuka honey with jojoba oil now they had other scents as well but this one here oh my gosh it is so nice <laughs> and i actually came out this morning because i had this sitting on my desk i came out this morning and went oh something sweet on my desk but it's the um, manuka honey soap so that's really nice they had a lavender one and there was a um a charcoal one with peppermint oil that was really nice but i'm not sure how people would accept the black soap but anyway that's okay i quite like it i might have to um get one of those next time i go shopping so this would just sit inside you could even do a little ribbon around there if you wanted to and then you can just cover that up like that now you can instead of doing just for you you could do happy birthday as well so there's lots of different things that you can do with this one um there's more designs in the paper pack if you don't want to use the hearts then there's other things that we can do as well i'll just grab what i've got left of this paper pack because i had a class I've been making projects for class on sunday so these are the hearts all right so you get them in different colors different designs 
and we have the, the duo heart punch pack which you can punch them out with so one has the straight edge and one has the scalloped edge I believe I don't have them so how did I do mine cut them out by hand with some snips and then you've got the nice pink gingham on the back on that one and then we've got a nice green design and I believe it's got tulips on the back pretty pretty tulips to match the tulip punch all right now there's four different designs in this pack and you get three of each one all right so you've got enough to do like a, quite a few different projects and use the backs and stuff like that this is your flower one now this coordinates with the little flower the bloom punch I believe it's called in the celebration catalog um, if you don't get enough orders up to get the bloom punch because it's a hundred and eighty dollar reward so a level two reward uh, it will be going into the new annual catalog but that won't be available until June so you just have to decide whether you need it now or you can do with it later or, or if you can wait till later and then we've got some nice stripes on the back there of those ones okay and then we have got to turn this around the right way up and um, oh it's the birthday bonanza thank you Roz thank you I knew someone would know I know it's in the catalog but anyway okay so umbrellas so this is to coordinate with the um under the weather suite and the umbrella builder punch that's part of that suite so you won't be able to just put the punch in and they line up perfectly you will have to cut your bits out and then punch them out that way and then we've got raindrops on the back of course we do okay so that is the paper pack it is 12 by 12 originally I thought it was a 6 by 6 pack but had less I was incorrect it was a nice surprise when I opened it up so I actually bought um, two packs for class thinking it was 6 by 6 and then I opened it up and I went oh look at that it is 12 by 12 bargain bargain Okay, so before I start on the card, I'm going to show you what we made this morning. Each Wednesday I do a technique class. And we use the, what are they called? Lily pad, lovely lily pad this morning. So, um, yeah, I don't think I have the stamp set out still either. But anyway, so I've got back into my shimmery white card stock. I haven't used it for ages, so I thought, you know what, let's use it today. So this one was a little bit special so we cut the lily flower out with the white and then we cut it out of the poppy paper and then I stuck and a bit of the green oh look dimensional back for the leaves as well from the um, the lily paper not the lily paper the poppy paper pack all right painted poppies all right so what I did was I cut the leaves out stuck that down on the strip then I stuck the white edge out and then I just put dots of glue in all the sections and then I just could then just stick those pieces straight down and in which would made it a lot easier than trying to sort of stick them all line them all up and put the tape or whatever it is that you want to do on the back all right then just a sweet little bow and a little hello which is from itty bitty greetings I believe all right so that is that one and the corrugated um, embossing folder quick simple thanks Leone um, yeah quick simple and it is it's really pretty and easy to do and you've got that shimmer if you really wanted to add shimmer to the paper as well you could you could just wink, use Wink of Stella you could even just do around the edges of the flower okay you could even do that that flower part too in red or whatever color you wanted to do just to make it pop up a little bit more all right so that's that one and then we did this one told you I was in a, um, a shimmery white mood <laughs> okay um, so again card base folded the opposite orientation we've got the uh, scripty embossing folder on there I've got that nice little decal that comes in the lily die pack I've got that cutout lily from that I used on the other card as well and then I've stamped my lily pads and my lily in um, Versamark heat emboss with white embossing powder and then just water coloured these guys here you can do that any cut look you can make up a heap of these and then just colour the flowers in different colours and then you can just use that for um you can put like you know three or four together as a nice little gift for friends family 
birthdays, anniversaries, Christmas, whatever it is you want to do. Then we've just got some of the polka dot ribbon in there and a couple of the pearls just to set that off and make it just really pretty and elegant on there. So they are the lily cards that I made today. Okay, so I've got my little box done. Now I just, I thought, you know what, I could show you how to make the box. It's really, really easy. I will, I'll tell you how I did it. Okay, this piece of Highland Heather is just a um, half sheet of our cardstock. Uh, we have A4 here, so the sizes will be a little bit different in the state. So all you have to do is just cut it in half and then just divide it by three. All right, so it's just cut here for metric on A4 is 10.5 by 29.7 centimeters and then I've scored it at 9.9 .9 and 19.8 all right to give it the three-fold part this piece here the white was just a quarter sheet of cardstock that I scored halfway and then I measured up I measured the middle going across and then I just measured up, I think it was an inch and a half. I could have just done an inch if I didn't want like the, the really pointy, the, if you just wanted like a slight sort of point instead of a big point like that. Um, just adjust it to like an inch or an inch and a quarter. This was an inch and a half from the base. All right, and then I just stuck that half on that back piece of the card. And then this piece goes on the front like so. So it makes it a sweet little card as well. All right, so that is how I did that one. So I've just got to grab out a piece of Highland Heather, and I don't think I've got. Oh, maybe I do have. Oh, look at that! Here's one I prepared earlier. I'll just check that it is the right width because we don't want to be going. No, it's not. Anyway, okay. So I'm going to trim this guy down. So. Our card stock to cut it in half this way you would cut it at ten and a half centimeters all right so it will be different for you girls in the States because your paper size is different to ours so just cut it in half lengthways all right and then I'm just going to fold that in half Use your good old bone forward folder to give it a nice strong score. Now this guy here I'm going to trim down with my cutest cutter ever. Alright, so I'm just going to trim that down to 10 centimeters. Alright, and this one here needs to come down. See so what I do. Because this only goes up to like 10 and a half, 11 centimeters that way, I put my, I layer it down on my card and then I have a look at this. I go, oh, okay, so if I just cut on that line there, that'll be perfect. So not that one, put that one, the second line in. Or you can pull out a ruler and measure it too. And just do a little pencil mark, whatever it is that you want to do. Okay, so that should be the right size now. To pop on there okay so and then I'm going to get my now I've already cut out these little hearts they were leftovers from the box that I did All right and I actually did cut this out thinking oh you know this would be really good if I could just um, use this as the fold over on the top but it's this is the biggest one that we've got and it's not it's not big enough so I'm just going to use this on my card so I'm just going to do like three little hearts across here just to coordinate with the card that I've got so I just need some snips All right, and I'm just going to cut out two hearts so you could even make a few of these just in the different colors as well and have them ready to go for gifts um, they'd make a nice teacher's gift, you can, you know, or just a, a little birthday gift, you know, you know, 
friends say, oh, it's such and such's birthday. How about we go out for coffee or whatever? If you had these on hand, perfect, perfect. You could put soap in for the girls. All right, now this would be a lot quicker if you had the punches. But for those who don't have the punches, you can just use your snips to cut them out. And remember the rule when you are fussy cutting is that you um, turn the paper, not your scissors. It's a lot easier to turn the paper than to start going around curves and stuff like that with scissors. You get your arms all twisted. End up like doing a um, paper crafting twist game. So tell me, do you send Valentine's gifts, cards? Do you get Valentine's gifts or cards? I used to get Valentine's gifts cards many moons ago before we got married. But once you've been married for like 34 years, it sort of tends to go out the window a little bit. But now my girls are a little bit older. I have one girl that's a little bit of a romantic. And she will message my, fa my father, no, she will message her father, my husband, and say, hey dad, you need to get mum flowers on the way home. You need to get mum something. It doesn't have to be flowers. Now you could even cut out those little hearts. I was looking to see if we had like a little punch for that, but I don't think we do. I'm not sure that we have a die that would fit. Oh, maybe we do have a little heart die. No, it's not that small. Okay, so two little hearts. I'm just going to check those dies and just see if we have a little heart. So you could probably fit it, but you'd have to line it up specifically in one of those to cut them out. Too much like hard work, I'm afraid. Sorry. Okay. Let me do this. Okay. Alright, so... I'm going to stick this guy straight down. If I've got glue coming out, that'd be really good. Now, I had a new lady join my team last week. She was so excited about getting a discount that she put an order in the day she joined, but that's okay. Um, she asked about the glue. She said she's tried glues before, but the papers tend to get um, bulky, wavy, crinkled, warped. I think it was warped we, we were talking about. And I said that can happen if you use too much glue. You really only need to use that thin line that I used on there for that because it just doesn't take that much to do. Now I'm going to stamp on here. Hopefully it will come out dark enough. I might just stamp on the background. Just to make sure that the colour is going to come out okay. Oh, that will be fine. Okay. Please do not look at the state of my ink pad. I had a lady that got a little bit zealous when she was braying one day and she pushed really hard into the ink pad but it still works as you can see it still works all right so what i do here is i turn my heart upside down Woo, turn your heart upside down pop him inside and then i grab my dimensionals and let's stick one there hold that in place and one up here and then I'll just go all the way around the edge you can use the larger ones if you want to but I think I used those up this morning and I don't really have many of those left I might just have some edges left so 
So do you have anything organised for Valentine's Day is the question. Now, sometimes I would organise a meal out or something like that. But now that I weigh in with Weight Watchers, see look, perfect. Now that I weigh in with Weight Watchers, I'm going to pop. How am I going to do this? I have to line it up. I should have done the card the other way. You know what? I might still do that. Will that fit across the card? Let's have a look. It's going to go over, so we can't do that. So I might just do the card that way. It's just going to open funny. That's all. So we're going to do a heart here. And a heart here. I think that's going to work better than the other way. And a heart in the middle, just like that. And I'll just do a little bow. I'll just put some ribbon across here. I love this ribbon. I don't use it enough. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this guy here and I'll stick that there. I'm going to need to get my tear and tape out because I just want to hold that in position around the back of the car. Actually I might put a little piece behind as well. Just so, mm, no, that's all wonky. Pull that straight. Okay. Now, if your partner does not have anything for you, you can let him know I do gift vouchers. Or he can buy you the best craft present ever. Or he can pay for it. So you just have to choose what you want in your kit for $235. And then that's just going to fold up like that. So I'm just going to stick, actually I can cut that in half. just going to hold that in place. Okay. Oh yay, look at that. It says Crockett has a dog's hind leg. Still going crooked. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? Hold that in place. There we go. You watch, after all that trouble, it probably won't you probably won't even notice because we'll um I must have used left those other dimensionals in the other room. Okay. I don't think I have any spare ones here, I've only got black ones. Where are those little ones? I just had them, here they are. Maybe I should be using the edges on these, rather than 50,000 little dimensionals, because then I've got to pull the backs off 50,000 little dimensionals. So I know that we're sort of um, I'm talking about um, which might 
mail pop-ups wouldn't come up. Um, I'm talking about Valentine's stuff and that too. If you don't celebrate Valentine's Day, um, that's okay. But it never hurts to send somebody a card to tell them that we love them. Okay? Um, or that we're thinking about them. So there's always that option as well. So the just for you, it could be any occasion, you know, just for you it can be congratulations, it can be happy let's feel happy birthday, happy anniversary, or you know. If you know they're um, struggling with stuff at the moment, then you can just send them a just for you card. So I've been thinking of you. Let's do coffee. Let's do coffee. Don't know about you, but I would jump at that. I always love to do coffee. That's gone a little bit wonky again. Oh, well, we'll fix it. Okay, oh my gosh. Pop that down. Once we put the hearts on, you probably won't even see that it's a little bit wonky. Let's hope we don't see it's a little bit wonky. All right, so I'll put one up or one down so you can't tell. Ha! All right, where's that glue? Remember, you don't need much. Up a little bit, down a little bit. Just a squiggle is all you need. You don't really need to cover the whole lot. This um, the Tombow multi-purpose glue is pretty good for sticking on. Okay, I don't want this to get stuck to my finger like the other one did. So if you were going to pick a free stamp set, what stamp set would you choose? Would you choose something with images in it? That had, or something that had a mix of images? <clears throat> mix of images and sentiments? Or would you get one of the um, large sentiment stamp sets? You know, like um, well written or What's the other one? It's well written and there's another one that has lots of words and stuff in it. Alright, so I'm just going to put that on there just like that. I'm going to tie another ribbon. Now, when this has stripes on here, you'll notice on this guy, it's actually got the stripes all at the top. So I will show you how I do that. Alright, so I'm just going to do my loop. And this comes around. All right. And then as I push this loop back through the hole, I twist it. All right. So I just give it a little bend so that then my stripes are all going the same way. And then just adjust it for your project. Whether it, you need smaller bows or you want a big bow or whatever it is that you want on there. I'm going to get my big scissors. So there's a little trick for you today. So you could just make a simple little card. It doesn't have to have hearts on it. It can have flowers on it. It can have anything on it. <clears throat> and then you could just pop um, this one here. This one that we did this morning. Sent with love. That's all you have to do on there for that one. So we have lots of um, sentiments, not necessarily um, Valentine's. I'm just going to stick that on with a glue dot. I 
I actually, you know what I do when I do my bows? I turn them around to see which one looks better. I think I like it a bit better right there. And I just put one glue dot behind the knot. Alright, and then I have the pretty peacock rhinestones. So you can put clear ones on there if you wanted to. You can colour your clear ones with your um, blends. I'm just doing a couple. There. I should probably do the same on the little box, hey. So if you are a frequent visitor to my blog, you will know that each Wednesday afternoon we do the Freshly Brewed Projects. So this will be going up this afternoon with the um, dimensions and stuff. Okay, so lid over the pokey stick so that I don't poke myself and then everything can get packed away. So, there are my coordinating projects. I know the card opens the way I don't normally open them. <laughs> um, if I do a card this orientation, I usually have the fold at the top. So, um, but that's just a wee bit different. Okay, so you've got the little gift box and the, um, the matching card to go with it. Okay. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. And my cards aren't very perfect. No, especially mine. Especially mine. So, okay. So that is the project for today. I hope you enjoyed stopping by. I enjoyed having you here with us, with me today. I really appreciate you taking the time to spend with me while I waffle on and I make something. Sometimes it's pretty. Sometimes it's not so pretty. Um, yes. And so thank you, and I do hope that you do get spoiled this Valentine's Day. And if they don't spoil you, shoot me a message, and we will work out a special deal for you. Okay, thanks so much for stopping by, um, and I will see talk to you again next Wednesday at 2pm. And don't forget to check the blog this afternoon for the dimensions for the projects. Okay, thanks for stopping by.